Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Mama Set, and welcome back to Couple Space Program. Previously, we went to space! Yeah, we went to space. Um, and now I want to go here. Why? Well, mostly because I'm pretty convinced that... Well, we could try and go down here, but... No, let's go to the South Pole. Let's go to the South Pole. So our objective is to go and take some Kerbins in a ship... And we're going to do it, put them into a polarish orbit, and then try and bring them down over the poles as safely as we can. Um, I could fly, but that would take ages, and I don't want to fly. So let's go to the vehicle assembly, and let's create a new ship. New. Oh, I need a part. Um, what we want is a command pod. So just a single moment. This will be the Polar Explorer. Explore. XPL. There we go. Polar Explorer. Exploring poles. Nice. Done. Alright. And with that in mind, we should build ourselves a rocket. So we don't need necessarily that much in terms of Delta V. Um, we will want a basic fuel tank. We will want a Terrier engine. I will want to disconnect those. Utility Is it thermal. Don't think we need a heat shield, but I will want a decoupler. I want those in several stages. Um, we want a nose parachute. And in basic about what science we want to take with us. Well, obviously we'll want one of them. We'll probably want a pressure, a pressure sensor. Yeah, is it just mostly cases to go and get a sample of the stuff? So we'll go and do that. Something nice, cheap, and simple. Alright. Now we need the upper stage, so we want we're going so wall bottle. To be fair, that's got quite a lot of delta V by itself. I'm almost tempted to see if that will do it. But I don't think it's got it'll have a massive problem with drag. Um, so with that in mind. Let's put some drogue shoots on. Given that we have had previously, what I will only describe as fun with coming in far too quickly. Separate that so we do that, and then we will add another decoupler. And then we we'll just want to go really high and then northwards. And then come in at a nice southwards and come in at a nice shallow angle. I mean, how much delta V is this? Boink. All right, that's three thousand delta V. That's enough to get us into orbit. All right, fine. Let's try that then. We want aerodynamics. Three of you. No, I prefer four, because then I've actually got control surfaces that aren't coupled. Alright, you will go up a lot, and then you will go sideways quite a bit, and we will try and get ourselves in an orbit that comes gently in over the poles. This might take more than one attempt, because <laughs> I don't know how easy this is going to be to get there. I'm also not entirely convinced that we won't just kill one of the crew members. Oh yes, we should probably recruit some more people, but let's go with the pilot for now. Alright. So, we've got fuel tanks, engines, commander control, structural, coupling, don't need ground, don't need thermal. Um, let's strap a solar panel on the back, just in case. Don't need batteries. Don't need an antenna, we're not going far enough away. Don't need any of those guys. And we've got plenty of parachutes. Alright. Save. 
launch. And let's see how badly this goes. Alright, so we want to be going... South. No, that's north. So I want to pull that way. We'll find out when we get up. Alright. Check your staging. And whoosh. There we go. Oh, I've got no cable engineers to tell me how high we're going. Fine. Probably should have adjusted the um, thrust on this thing. It's going supersonic. Doesn't really help. Yes, I know we have a parachute problem. Back to burnout, and then I will get rid of you, and then we'll start to tumble a little bit until we get out of the atmosphere. All right, where are we going? Not quite enough apoapsis that I would like, and let's turn stability control on. Oh, our pilot's leveled up. Uh, prograde, if you'd be so kind, Donden. Alright, so our perhaps this is still within the atmosphere. So what we'll do is we'll get up to Apoapsis. We're using these time warp things we now have available. Plenty of electric charge. And I think I will kill that time warp. Exit there. Fire that engine on full power. Please continue to track the apoapsis. Parable prograde, if you'd be so kind. A little bit longer. And I will just tell you to stop doing that. It just goes to stability once we hit the horizon. Now. How are we doing? Just turn this over to make a bit more sense like a plane. Are we going to get there or do we actually need to break orbit? No, I think we're going to be very shy. No, nope. alright, fair enough. Point retrograde, time warp, fire the parachutes when you're ready. We'll bring you home. There's not much point in uh, avoiding it, uh, aborting it. Call it a test. Which is what it is. It's a test. Yet another test. Are we coming in too hot again? Hmm? No, I think we'll slow down in time. There go the heat ratings. There go the drogues. Good job I put them on. And down we come. Alright, so... We had a lot of Delta V. But... Not enough to overcome the drag. So if we want to get polar, we're going to need to go higher. Not necessarily faster. It's a whole load of atmosphere. I don't really want to plow through. So what we will do... Yep, that's all the parachutes. We are descending really slowly now. Uh, cut. Cut.
EVA report while flying over Kerbin's water. Alright, I will be tempted to do that when I'm at a distance, where a height above the ground, whereby if he does fall off. And he's not going to drop very far at least. Alright. Nah, <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> I chickened out. And the SAS off. And recover. Alright. Fair enough. How much did that cost us? I don't know how much that Don didn't got anything useful out of it. No science. We recovered three grand. Flying horizontally at max three. Alright, so we got a medal for, st for doing something dangerously stupid. Duh. Alright, and that rocket cost us eight grand. Alright, so we evidently don't want that as a lower stage. Or if we do, we want more of them, but we want to throttle them so the thrust to rate ratio is less. But what I want is burn time. So that means we need. A fuel tank. Fuel tank with fins. Fuel tank with. Yeah, yeah, we'll be using you in the atmosphere. An engine. So that's about the same amount of delta V, just with an awful lot more control. And so what we'll do, what we've done previously, is we will strap decouplers, decouplers, a set of fleas on the bottom, a set of hammers. I have to zoom in and sort these out because they're a bit close to each other. They are not. Where I want them to be. Which is there. Alright. So, I do not need a thrust to weight ratio quite that fast at the start. This is practically an orbital rocket. This is an orbital rocket. <laughs> Alright. Looks like we're using an orbital rocket to go to the poles. Save. Launch. And we'll see how far we get this time. SAS turn on. Remember to pull south. Excuse me for a sec while I revert to the vehicle assembly and add something. Uh, utility, science. There's a button for rotating you. There we go. Done. All right. Save launch. Because now I've got my head up display. Yay! Uh, I don't want to launch that. All right. SES turn on. We want to make sure that our inclination, actually, we want to open the world surface, our inclination is close to whatever that number is. We'll find out when we launch. Away we go. Oh, check your staging. Those fire with that one. And then we're on our way. Alright. Grand. Boom. Keep pulling this way. Track prograde, if you wouldn't mind. Alright, that's tilting over a bit quickly. Right, we'll do a full roll. Alright, what's our inclination at? Increasing, good. You're a little unstable, aren't you? Come at 
this way if you don't mind. And pull up a lot. No, no, I'm reverting that flight. Revert back to launch. <laughs> that wasn't going anywhere nice. Alright, SAS turn on. We're gonna go up for a bit longer this time, um, until we actually reach a decent speed. In fact, I might just go up, just straight up, until a fair bit later. Alright, let's start tapping downwards. Do the roll. No. Alright. Follow prograde. Tap just a little bit more. Get the edge of that to about here ish. Keep nudging us over just a little bit this way to. You got that under control, Dundin, or not? There we go. All right. <laughs> that was a little scary, wasn't it, Dundin? So we want our inclination. We were reading on 180 something or other. So we need to keep pulling at the marker this way. Come on, keep me up. Keep going. It's only a short little suborbital hop for science. It's just costing us money, you know. Unless you have our own 90 degrees, will do. Oops, that a little bit too much. Alright, I'm going to kill that and see where we're going. Not that far into space, alright. And there we're into space. So, we are... Alright, let's try and work this out. <laughs> Which way do I need to burn? To bring you... Further south. Alright, you know what? It's fine. We'll kill thrust here. And now we'll get ourselves up to apoapsis. Kill the time warp. Block the prograde. Alright. So. We are currently going too far I'm looking down the rocket's tailpipe there we go, I uh, need to haul to the left uh, SAS turn off SAS turn back on, SAS turn back on map Maybe no. No, no, revert fight to launch. I should have 
done the full burner apoapsis. Alright, so we're getting there. SAS turn on. That. Give me full power for when you fire that engine. Uh, uh, no. I want three quarters power when you fire that engine. Burn through the fleas and then start to tilt. And then hopefully we'll get to the poles. Or the south pole at least. We'll find out what's there. Snow and not much else. But, you know, we'll get a little bit more science, which you can potentially spend on something. And then once we've had done our test run to a cold and inhospitable place, the, so the, the southern pole, we will start thinking about going to the moon. Going to the moon. Alright, track prograde. I want you to just fire at the same time. Thank you, Hammer Boosters, for getting me up to the speed of sound. Your performance was enjoyed. Thank you very much. Do the bit. Alright, it's a little bit too aggressive. is rising nicely. Basically the same again. Bring us out into space and then try and extend the orbit far enough that we'll essentially be coming in to re-entry over the poles. A nice little suborbital fact. Third time's a charm, of course. You know, every time I tap the controls that way, it's probably got a little bit of a roll on. Alright, follow progress. Good, good, good. Switch you over to that one. Stabilised. Nice. Alright, we are now orbital. Engine stop. Now, let's actually add maneuver to apoapsis. And. Alright, we've got a lot of delta V. If we put a thousand in. No. Right, that gets into orbit. We don't want that. Alright, that'll do. And that gives me 500 delta V to essentially do a one hell of a massive braking maneuver around here. Yeah, okay. That maneuver to our about 900. All right. Essentially, lock program will do nicely. All right. I've got 400 or so in this one. So I will need to change. Let's make sure that change happens smoothly. Impact biome, water. Okay. So if we vaguely keep burning until that says impact biome poles, let's keep an eye on that down here. Impact biome. Um, I don't need the, the orbital right now. I've done it again, I missed the burn. Attention to too many other things. Right, 
Impact biome did go to water. That's a perigee of about that. Now I don't want to come straight down, we're going too fast. Don't have enough atmosphere. In fact, we're back in the atmosphere. So. Alright, so now we're in a degrading orbit. That perigee is going to come down as we hit the atmosphere. I'm going to park you retrograde. And then we're just going to see where we end up. Ideally, what we want is for that, uh, yeah, if we're currently flying, <laughs> um, to eventually say that we are going to land. I don't mind coming down a little bit too steep, but you're not coming down quickly enough. Impact by a water. Alright, that's predicting we're going to come down somewhere over there. Now I'm pretty sure that we're going to come down a fair bit quicker than that. Give me heat and not vessel. Yeah, things are getting hot. But are we slowing down enough? Well, I do have 700 odd meters of delta V in here. Should I need to really slow it down? Southern Ice Shelf will do nicely, thank you very much. Plenty of power. Should start hitting the thicker atmosphere soon. Bear in mind, we still do have 600 meters of delta V, so if I need to shed that much speed, I can just push this button. I will probably push the button if we're still going too slowly. Just do it now. So the temperature warning is gone. Alright, heat. I don't need vessel I would like. Go to stability assists for now. Hey, parachute's away. We can go be able to recover the engine. Excellent. 
Southern Ice Shelf, a polar landing. Got a little bit hairy there. We did have to use our remaining Delta V. Wow, that's empty and white. Yeah, I know Dondon is dark, is white out here. Did have to use our remaining Delta V. Wow, we really did get close to the pole. Um, we did have to use a fair chunk of our remaining Delta V to make sure we didn't uh, plow into the ground too quickly, but that's why we over injured the mission, just to make sure we had plenty of Delta V. Hey, we're coming down safely. Good, good, good. I'm going to save the fuel. We'll make money on it. Save, I'm going to ditch the engine. We'll make money on it. Though I may have to do a little bit of thrusting. We'll see. When we get below a thousand and the main chute deploys, we'll see what our weight is. Uh, we're, we're below eight, so I'm pretty happy that we will not crash into the ground too quickly. Interesting surface. Select category surface. Terminal velocity, impact altitude, pressure. Yeah. That's fine. Snow. Hey, let's get off. All right, Dundon. Time to do some science. Log pressure data. Looks like a fine day today. Yes, it does. Log temperature. Quite literally, nominal. Yeah, let's imagine it's a bit cold. I would like a crew report. Awfully familiar. Yeah, we did. We did. Keep experiment. Alright. EVA. Take data. Store data. EVA report. Finally, time to stretch your legs. Keep experiment. Get back on board. Alright, we went to here. Huzzah! Um, Alright, so... Science here and now. Apparently, we have completed all the available science. Crew report, EDA report, temperature scans. Nice. Done. And with that, we will recover our vessel. The Pup Explorer! It went to the South Pole and it came back with some science. Not much, but you know. Came back with eight whole science. That was worth three, several, many failed launches, wasn't it? We got a fair chunk of the rocket back. We got our pilot back. First solar polar lander. First Kerbal to land in the South Polar region of Kerbin. All right. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset, and that was sending a Kerbal to a large, white, flat plane for a very small amount of science. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and remember, please like and subscribe.